Right guys, welcome to Catapult Carnage. If you want to see me get bit by a ferret, go into the knees and mud, this is the episode for you. <laughs> Stay tuned. Alright guys, this video was brought to you by Husk Knives. These are premium Japanese knives, high quality, excellent for the outdoors man, excellent for bushcraft cooking, which is right up my street. Extremely sharp, scary sharp, fantastic ergonomic design, unique handle design, great edge control. This knife is 11 inches overall, it's got a 6 inch blade, it's 5 inches wide, five, 2 inches wide, sorry, 5 centimetres, it's half a pound weight, or 250 grams, it's stainless steel, it's electroplated stainless steel, so it's very, very durable to the elements, and the handle material is oak, and it's got heavy duty pins on there. This is a robust knife that you could rely on. So you'll find links in the description. Shout out to Husk for being my first paid promotion, sponsored video. Um, one step closer to being a full-time YouTuber, so I want you guys to show them a bit of love and even go and check out their website, check out the knives. I recommend the knives. Links in the description and pinned in the comments. Let's get on with the video. Here again, man. Go you up to the top and keep a look out for Smokey. Okay, so I've left this section of the video unedited. That's the rabbit entering this section of the warren because the dog is showing high interest in this portion of the warren. The warren is the full length of that hedgerow of the field, complexed warren. The dog has let me know something's there, so even though I'm not relying on the dog to catch the rabbits, I'm going to net them. The dog is extremely useful in this scenario. Once the ferret locates the rabbit and gives him a few nips, the rabbit is soon going to want to leave that warren in a hurry. Now let's see. Again. Search. Oh, a rabbit! Get out! Get back! Huh? Can 
Can you find him? Yeah, hold that one real tight by the legs. He's going to thrash now, real tight, as hard as you can squeeze him. Yep. Ah. Yeah. Uh -uh. They're not alive now. So I thought I would, before we went home, take a wee walk on my own with the GoPro and the slingshot, and see if I could see any rabbits for a shot at one. So I'm checking this new patch of my permission. When I say new, I just mean I haven't checked it before. So there's plenty of sign, plenty of burrows coming up to this fence. Um, and I'm hoping straight forward there in front of us, that's where I'm going. So I step through the fence and I look down the field. Now when I'm looking down the field, I can see two rabbits way down the field, way out of range. So I decide I'm going to go back through the fence, over the fence, and try and creep up on them down this side of the hedge. Um, so I'm navigating here, I'm checking the hedge out. The hedge is pretty thick, but there's small gaps in places, you know, where you can get a shot through, and that's what you're looking for. You're looking for to get in close and you're looking a little window in the hedge to get your shot through. This is where lighter ammo suffers because if you're shooting 8 mil steel or even 9.5s and you hit a twig or a leaf at all with your shot, it deflects it slightly. It doesn't take much to push them off path and for you to miss. So, for this style of hunting, if this is specifically what you're into, hunting hedgerows like this, um, 8s and 9.5s are probably too light. Uh, a lot of times with me, it's open ground hunting, or I can find a window big enough to get a shot through. So, I'm just coming up now on where the rabbits are, and you can see a couple of little gaps here in the hedge in front of us. And I do get a shot, so let's have a look at that. So I come up to me, little gap in the hedge, have a peek round the corner down the field and I can see a rabbit. Now the rabbit sees me and is alert to me, but he's still happy enough to sit there. But anybody with experience hunting rabbits, you know whenever a rabbit's sitting up, sitting alert, it's like it's just ready to take off. That's how he's sitting. So I'm approaching as quietly as I can. Um, the, rab the rabbit will have s feel some level of security with me being on the other side of the hedge. And if you can see just in front of us here, there's two little gaps in the hedge. And I can see the rabbit and the rabbit can see me. Right there, I'm going to have my shot now. Perfect, aiming perfect. It's not... Far away, it's a handy enough shot. Miss. Wasn't a miss. I missed because my shot got deflected. There was, I'm not joking, a twig in the path. And it just pushed me at my steel. So the rabbit's gone. I'm walking on down. There was another one. I'm trying to spy through the hedge, see if I can see it. I have had success through hedges before. With the 8mm steel, it's just this time I was unlucky and I thought that was a good opportunity to show you guys, you know, hunting with a slingshot in brush, heavier projectile is more suited. And I'm looking at gaps in the hedge and I stop just here and I can see the rabbit comes running out now across the field. Rabbit's out running across the field in front of me. That's, I'm presuming, the one that I missed. Away hopping and skipping over into the far field. So I'm thinking, is he going to ground? 
could I get in on him again? Normally I wouldn't cross this here. What I, I assumed was a stream. Looks like a shallow little stream. Bang. Up to the knees in mud. <laughs> I, I, my boots are filled with mud. My socks are filled with mud. My shorts are filled with mud. I'm thinking, am I stuck? How deep am I going to go in? Am I going to have to swim out of it? How am I going to get called for help? But I managed to just trudge out of it. Fucking hell. So this sort of put an end to my hunting. <clears throat> Look at me. See the buzzard? He's looking for rabbits too. So I had spoke to the farmer earlier in the day and he had told me that there was pigeons in this shed. So I'll go in here, look up into the rafters, can't see the birds, but I can hear them. I can hear them cooing. So I know they're in there. I'm gonna go up to the other end of the building now, but as I go up, Every six or eight feet along the building, we've got like a little half block here left out. I look through the half block, I can see, I can see the pigeon on top of one of the beams. So I've got my little peep hole. And I've got him. I've hit the pigeon, he's down. You can hear the shot actually pass through him. And upon inspection, when I get the bird, eventually, it was a pass through. Now we're going here, in through the cows. The cows don't mind too much. Probably don't like the pigeons crapping in all their silage and all their food. But the bird is actually stuck on top of a rafter. Quite a good shot through the people. See these planks here in front of me? The bird is dead on top of the planks. So I'm looking up and thinking, how in honour of God am I going to get that down? Or maybe he flew off, maybe I didn't get him. You know, I know now that I did. He's up there dead, but at the time I had all this running through my mind. What a trade. Come on. Dinner, guys. No. That'll keep them munching for a while. What an unbelievably sharp knife. Two legs.
That hole in the grip is actually very good for edge control. Dog can have the rest of that. He deserves it. Let's just open this little rabbit burrito up. Mmm, we got all that cheese and all them juices melted in there. Beautiful. Now for the taste test. It's my first time making burritos. Mmm. 
beautiful. And yeah, it's awesome. Hmm. All right, that's it for this episode. If you made it to the end of this video, you're a true legend. Thank you. Let me know what you thought. The burritos were delicious. What do you guys think? What do you think of the husk knives? What did you think of me nearly dying in quicksand slash mud slash sewage? <laughs> I had a lot of fun making this video. I've spent the guts of a day and a half doing it, so I earned a like. Drop me a comment guys and I'll see you in the next one. I've got more hunting coming, more build videos. We're going to have a fun hunting season and a great winter together. Hope you guys are keeping well. Thanks again.